Hello everyone, this is a special request by some of my subscribers. I've seen quite a few comments asking me, hey Denzel, what debt tools do you have? You know, what do you know? What do you know? And my answer will always be the same until I get a little older is look, I don't know Jack, all right? Jesus is speaking through my vocal cords whenever I'm talking about finances, kingdom, velocity, banking. He's my mentor, he teaches me all this stuff gives me the wisdom and then I just put it on the board and I talk about it. That's really the truth. That's about what I'm doing so far. So technically, uh, you could say I'm the most unqualified person to be talking to you about velocity banking. And you can see based on the debt tools that I have right now, all right? Which is not really that much in terms of credit limit. I do have quite a bit, but they're not high on credit limit. It's gonna take some time to grow it, obviously working on building my credit score right now. I'm at like a steady 720, 715-ish, and that's gradually going up. And I'm also building and establishing business credit, okay? So let's go right into it. Just, you know, satisfy some of those viewers that are, I guess, trying to qualify me. I'll, look, I'll tell you straight up, listen, I'm the most unqualified person to be talking about Velocity Banking, but yet I smile and praise God for all the blessings that he's given me and all the people that he's put in front of my path and all the people that he's allowed me to help so far. So thank you, Jesus, for that. Let's dive into it. Got a Bank of America credit card for 15,000. My goal is to increase that by January 2020. I have a Discover credit card, 7,500 credit limit. Again, looking to increase that by January 2020. HSBC. BBVA, these are two credit cards that are non-existent. I'm not even using them right now. Uh, I have no purpose for it other than it helps my utilization. That's about it. And it shows multiple revolving open accounts, which is cool. The next one is Macy's, 6,500. Also gonna be increasing that by January 2020. Capital One, that's a business credit card for 700 right now. Uh, I've already increased it once. I was originally at 500, now it's at seven. And the goal is to uh, get that up by January, February-ish, 2020. American Express, that's another business credit card. I already increased it recently, went from like 5K to seven. So I'm gonna do it again in January, 2020. Bright Star credit card is also a business credit card. It started out at 10,000. By January 2020, I would have had it for about six months. So I'm gonna be increasing that as well. And then I have a Bright Star personal line of credit for 10,000. And I'm looking to increase that by January 2020. I tried to increase it prior, but the bank was having some issues and they weren't really giving out credit lines. Um, so I was kind of just waiting for them to you know, start opening that up again. I'm just waiting. I have a Melaleuca credit card where I purchase products from this Melaleuca company. It's like a health and wellness. They gave me 4,000, it's 0% for like 12 months and I actually get 6% cash back rewards on whatever I spend on the Melaleuca website. So that was a no brainer. That's gonna save me a bunch of money. I get points, loyalty points, all kinds of stuff. So they gave me four grand to start with. I have PayPal which is a personal uh, credit limit. It's not a credit card, it's just like a credit line for 4,000 on PayPal. Basically, I can use that for online purchases. If I spend $99 or more on a single transaction, then I get six months free interest. No, I get six months deferred interest, 0%, and then you know, the. You want to pay that off in full. If you don't, then you get you get tacked on interest. So that's a, you know something to pay attention to. And then I got an Amazon credit card, thirty two hundred bucks. Uh, every now and then, it's got offers and cashback rewards and things like that that pop up for me. I'll probably increase that by next year as well. But my goal is to actually get an Amazon business credit card so that whenever I want to purchase equipment, I can just use that. So that's a goal. Um, and that's it for personal and business credit cards and line of credit. And then my other two main debt tools that I have 
is a mass mutual policy and a guardian life insurance policy where mass mutual has cash value of 8,900 and some change. And then my guardian, as of the last time I just checked it, like a couple days ago, it's at 60,829 in cash value. So what's happening in my personal finances is I basically use like one to two credit cards on the personal side being my BOA, Bank of America, and Discover, and I really don't touch the rest. On the business side, I use the American Express and the Capital One to run my basic expenses. Any big purchases, I usually run it through the Brightstar credit card because that's at 0% for like 15 months. The American Express is also at 0% for like 15 months. So I'm consistently keeping balances on them for right now just because, you know, because because I can and I don't have to pay it back till towards the end of 2020. Uh, a rule that I have for myself is every three to six months, I just try to keep on increasing the credit limits or I wait for mail to come to my house, such as I got an offer from uh, Fifth Third Bank. Fifth Third Bank. I believe they're nationwide. If not, then they're only in South Florida, but I, I, I forget. But they sent me something in the mail, 0% on purchases and balance transfers for 15 months. Not bad. So, in terms of using my credit, I've only done this so far. I recently applied like a couple of days ago for a fifth third credit card, 0% on balance transfers and purchases. My goal was to have that in place by the end of November. And then I was actually going to run my personal vacation from my birthday, January 4th, right? I was going to run a vacation through that and the vacation for my girlfriend in February, um, and then another vacation in April. So three vacations I was planning on running through here, through the credit card, get cash back rewards. Don't have to pay it back for like 15 months till 2021, basically, like the beginning of 2021. Keep it on there, pay the minimum payment, right? All throughout the month. Pay the minimum. Pay the minimum and keep going about my business. Got three vacations basically stored on there. Doesn't hurt my cash flow whatsoever. Once I approach 2021, I would have 10x'd my income again. So that'll be a wash. How nice. Okay. So quick video on. What debts does Denzel have? Hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.